Hey there, and welcome to the Vela Community Center. In this video, we're going to cover price, compare it price, and cost for Shopify listings. We'll show you all the ways that you can edit these both individually and in bulk within Vela. When you come to the bulk editing page, you'll find these as options in the leftmost menu below inventory, where we can see price, cap, CPI, or cost, as well as up top where we can toggle between them as we work. We'll also see all our listings and their variations. Our bulk editing tool shows us the usual increase by, decrease by, and change to. We'll also see a field to enter our price or percentage, and a button to toggle between dollars and percentage depending on what we're doing. We'll also see an editor to clean up our sense, which we'll demonstrate as we go through these features. So let's get started. So let's say in our case, we want to begin by increasing our prices. We'll simply select increase by, enter the amount where we'll see dollars are selected, and we'll see those changes have applied. In cases where we might want to exclude a listing, in this case, a listing in all its variants, we simply deselect it and we'll see the original data reverts. In our case, let's include it to keep things simple so we'll retoggle it and apply these changes. Now let's say in this case, we instead want to run some kind of sale. In this case, we would toggle percentage, decrease by, and choose 15%, where we'll see those changes have been updated to our price. Something to note, of course, as we apply, is that when we work with percentages, it can make these numbers a bit awkward, which is where we'll use the sense updater to clean things up. This looks much better, so let's apply this change and keep on moving. Compare it price or cap is something we can also edit with the similar features. In our case, we don't have anything, so let's use change to, and we'll make our compare it price $40. Now keep in mind that cap is used to highlight a discount for your customers. So you're always going to want it to be higher than your list price to ensure that it demonstrates that discount. If you enter a price for cap that is lower than your list prices, Vela will highlight it in red to show you that we're violating that rule. In our case, we're feeling good about this and we're demonstrating a discount. So we'll continue moving onwards. Cost, or CPI as it's listed in our listings below, is a field that isn't mandatory and is not shown to buyers, but it is something you might want to use to include for organizing your own shop and operations. Once again, we'll use change to to fill in these blank fields and update it to $15. Now let's say in our case, we find out from our supplier that they've increased our costs. We might want to update it. So in this case, we'll increase by 10% to update our new relationship with our vendor. And now we've got updated CPI or cost. Lastly, we'll show you how to do individual edits, which is nice and simple where you'll see that by editing the fields, Velo automatically deselects this listing so that as we make changes, no more bulk edits will apply to this particular listing. We'll see that the green dots indicate all the changes have been made and saved in Vela, and all that's left to do now is to sync these changes to our shop. So once we're happy with our work, let's just click sync, where in just a matter of moments, Vela will push these changes to my shop and all of this new pricing information will be updated in my Shopify. That's all you have to do to update and manage price, cap, and CPI. Thanks for joining us.